In my pretend world, we can wear sweaters any time of the year and there are no zits, period. What is up guys, welcome back. So today is a very exciting video. I'm finally getting to share with you the new releases from Thrag Cosmetics that we have been hotly anticipating on my channel. And that includes three of the new Brilliant Eye Brighteners that we did know were coming out and I've been very, very excited about them. These were a surprise to me, and that is that they came out with three new shades in the Triple Threat Color Stick, something we haven't seen on my channel in a long time. So I do also have the other three shades in the Brilliant Eye Brightener, the original. So I'm going to swatch all of those for you guys so you can see the full spectrum of them. And then we're going to basically finish out this look. I have my foundation on, my contour, my bronzer, my brows and stuff, but we're gonna do my cheeks and we're gonna do an eye look and everything. And we're gonna pull it all together. So I'm gonna move you guys in and we are going to get to playing with this makeup. We haven't been up close and personal in a minute. Hi. <laughs> to all the people who are currently typing comments that say, oh my gosh, Khaki, why are you wearing a sweater? It's called denial. Okay, just let me have it. <laughs> I woke up this morning and it was raining and I was just like, it's fall. <laughs> I like lit a fall candle. Just, I invite you to come live in my denial world with me, okay? There's plenty of room for all of us. Uh oh, guys, I have goofed. I do not know where Miko is. Miko is uh, one of the older shades, not one that just came out, and it is a beautiful pale pink shade, and it did also come out in the new Triple Threat color stick, so I will be able to show it to you guys in that product, but <sighs> I really need to reorganize my makeup. This has definitely gotten completely out of hand. I believe that there are seven shades. I have six of them swatched here. So we have the original, this is Stella. So it's hard to see, but you can see this one is the original champagne shade. This is Estrella. This is the new white, basically, like white pearl color. This is Aurora, which is, I think one of the like second releases and it's kind of a rose gold. Then you end up with this like true gold and it is called Gia. I'm dropping them everywhere. Of course I am. <laughs> and then we have Emma, which came out, I think kind of like third generation alongside Miko. And it's like a copper color, very instant rock star eye with this guy. It's so, so pretty. And then the new uh, Muna shade, which is like a shimmery taupey brown. I'm super excited to put that one on my face today. I feel like my sweater is eating my face <laughs> because I just keep getting bigger. Guys, yesterday I took my bra off in traffic. Yes, I did because that is the status of my situation at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and swatch also these cheek sticks so that you guys can see Miko and also so that we can get to putting some makeup on. So here we have Miko. This is a very good representation of what the Brilliant Eye Brightener looks like as well. It's a pale shimmery pink color and it's very, very pretty on the eyes and probably also as a highlighter on the cheeks. The next one is called Tessa and I have to admit, it's the one that I'm the most excited about. I love a good berry wine fall matte, give it to me. And then we have Isabella, which is a really pretty coral shade that is slightly shimmery, but I still think that it lends itself better to being a blush at first blush than, uh, than to a highlighter the, the way that Miko does. And each of the Brilliant Eye Brighteners retails for $24. The Triple Threat Color Stick is $36. And as always, there is a 10% off uh, your first order from Thrive down below underneath all of my videos but let's get to getting on this makeup, guys. So this does come with this fancy little situation down here. There's always bells and whistles with Thrive products. They always make sure that the packaging has some kind of just kind of cool doodad to it, you know? So there's this little brush for your on-the-go application, but I'm just going to put it on with a regular brush because that's how I'm most comfortable. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the shade Isabella. It's actually super exciting for me to be able to incorporate some cream blushes from Thrive because I have cre cream blushes from so many other brands. <laughs> you know, it's like I want to be able to do like a full face of like really pretty healthy looking dewy makeup with one of my favorite brands. Yep. That's beautiful. I do have a tiny bit of powder on right now, just kind of around my eyes and stuff. It's the Kiarwise powder, just because it still stays a little bit like reflective. It's really pretty. 
And so I do feel like this is giving me not just like a good, I don't know, uh, powder cream hybrid finish as I'm putting it on, but the shimmer that is in, by the way, I think there's actually like glitter <laughs> that is errant somewhere. I don't think that this is actually glitter coming from the product that you're seeing on my face. That's a mistake, that's what we call that. But basically what I'm saying is that it's both a texture and also a finish of this product that's giving me what I would consider to be like a nice dewy skin finish, like a reflective surface almost, but it's not sticky, which is wonderful. So they call it a triple threat color stick because you can put this on your eyes, you can put it on your lips, and you can put it on your cheeks. And I am uh, definitely liking the kind of like sheer buildability here. I feel like I have a lot of like options. Yes, okay, so I did declutter the original pinky coral shade that they had in this because it was just too glittery and too pink for me. And this is what I was always hoping for. I can definitely confirm that that has resolved the issue. Like to me, this is the like holy grail, beautiful coral rosy color that I was hoping for to begin with. So big fan of Isabella. Now we're gonna go in with this beautiful berry shade. Oh my gosh, what's this called again? Tessa. And we're gonna be very gentle at first and just go, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So this is matte. This one has, doesn't have any shimmer to it at all. I feel like that was super intentional because it is such like, what do we call it guys? Nordic Child, running through the fjords vibes. It just gives you something that's so natural looking and lived in. Oh, just look at how that pulls the shades from my undertones. Yeah, and if you are really pale, don't shy away from stuff like this. Just wear it really sheer. This is definitely something that works on a lot of different skin tones, but I will never forget using the Storm Cloud paint for the first time from Glossier and being like, this is not gonna, oh wait, this is perfect. <laughs> because these kinds of berry shades can be actually super, super flattering and look really like at home on uh, paler skin. I am actually genuinely loving how this seems to be improving the overall blurred finish of my skin. I am using their Buildable Blur uh, CC cream today. And um, that's not one that I typically wear that often because it does have a chemical sunscreen in it that can sometimes um, irritate my skin, but it does have a really beautiful finish to it. If that isn't something that bothers you, what is that ingredient called? Octanoxate, it's got 7% octanoxate in it. And octanoxate just, it's a personal thing. It's just something that kind of frustrates my skin and it is in a lot of CC creams. So um, that's why I don't wear it that often, but it is super pretty and I feel like it is complimented by the finish on these blushes. Holy moly mackerel, that's pretty. I am loving that. And uh, that probably won't be the last of that that I put on. We will see if my face eats it the way that, you know, sometimes our faces tend to eat cream products. And finally, I'm just going to put this one on my finger. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the first time that I've like touched this with my finger instead of with a tool. And it's so much softer than the original formula. Interesting. Because I had Joy, which was very similar to Miko, which I think, actually, it wasn't that similar. It was more similar to uh, like a, a champagne color of highlight, but it was a little bit like rougher. You could almost like feel the glitter texture. This is extremely smooth. Okay, so you can see from side to side, that's the effect of that highlight. You can also use the Brilliant Eye Brighteners as highlight, just the same way that you can still use this as like an eyeshadow. Because, you know, at least the other colors that I've used so far, like this one's a little bit, I feel like, dewier, but the other two colors almost go down to like a matte satin when they're on the skin. And before we talk about them, I mean, I'll go ahead and spoil it. The Brilliant Eye Brighteners are one of the only eye products, if not the only eye cream eye products, like a, a, a stick, an eyeshadow stick, that I have heard resoundingly from so many viewers who also struggle with like creasing and things like that. Like if you have like really oily prone eyelids and stuff that uh, it doesn't crease on them because it is so dimethicone based. So that is a godsend for some people, <laughs> you know? Oh, we are just improving by leaps and bounds over here. I'm just so impressed with the attention to detail on getting these formulas right. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Okay, 
So now I just look like a blushing baby <laughs> in my sweater that's trying to eat me. But uh, let's start on some eyes here. I am going to, I don't know why, maybe just because I have it on hand, start with the Eyelift 360 Waterproof Primer uh, from Thrive. <laughs> I mean, you know, typically I would use this under just a regular powder eyeshadow and we probably will end up going in with some powder eyeshadows to balance this stuff out because all the brilliant eye brighteners are, what? Brilliant, they are shimmery. And so, you know, you don't always want all shimmer on your eyes if you're going for like a full eye look. I like to build depth with, you know, a crease shade that is matte usually. Have I done a convincing job of covering this gigante zit on my face right now? Like that thing, emerged out of nowhere and it is so painful <laughs> and I have like three different products on it to try and camouflage it right now. I'm going to keep this guy right here handy as we do this just because this is my typical even when I'm not doing a full Thrive look. Um, this is still my palette of choice. This is the perfect eye palette in warm neutrals uh, for basically like any eyeshadow shade supplementation that I might need. It just has like the full spectrum of what I would need to, you know, basics essentially. I actually think I'm going to start with like local color. I really just want to get this shade down. <laughs> and this is Muna and it is the one that I am completely like over the moon excited about. I hope it looks really good because this is a first impression. <laughs> Let's see here. And actually I've been seeing this all over Pinterest before it arrived because they were waiting for the new cheek sticks to come out uh, before they sent this stuff out in PR. And so I've been seeing models on Pinterest wearing this and applying this shade for weeks. <laughs> I'm just like I'm dying to get my hands on it. I will say this one's a little bit um, slippier. This particular shade, I could tell it when I was swatching it, oddly enough, and I don't really know whether that's just the one that I got or whether it's the formulation on this particular shade, but I felt like it almost lent itself to shearing out a little bit more than building, which I found interesting. Now you can very much use a brush with these, and I actually highly recommend doing so because they do spread super easily regardless, and they don't have like a, a non-negotiable dry down. It took me a second to kind of think of that. But uh, I do like that they stay movable and then they also stay uh, kind of buildable. I'm gonna go in with a tiny brush in the shade and just smoke out my lower lash line here. It's so cool to just be able to pick one color and make a whole look out of it if you want, you know? Take some of that on a brush here and go pretty high up and just go ahead and get like a nice, blend all the way up, not quite to my brow bone, but it's sheerer than I thought that it was. And so it's actually really nice to have, to build all that depth. So, so, so pretty. Not quite as pigmented and as like high impact as I expected it to be, but you can also kind of build it on the lash line and still get that smoky effect. Okay, I'm going to actually go in next with that cool toned white shade, Estrella. And I'm going to go directly. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is the brow bone shade of life for a pale girl right there. Oh my goodness. That might actually show up on my inner corner. <laughs> it does. That never happens to me. Any inner corner highlight is always just kind of like, it's just kind of like a gesture. It's like an empty promise for me most of the time. I put, like, unless it's got like blue glow to it or something like that, usually an inner corner highlight is, is pretty inconsequential <laughs> on my face because that is just, it's such a pale part of my body and I don't have a lot of real estate there to begin with. And so uh, nothing really adds a nice, like satisfying glow. And that is actually a nice satisfying glow. Look at that because it's so icy. So keep in mind, it's icy. <laughs> Not everybody can wear icy. 
But I think that that's what's so cool about the fact that they've expanded this range so much is that there are so many options. You know, if you aren't an icy person, the original one, Stella, is gonna work really well for you. And Aurora has that like rose gold thing to it. It's a little too dark to be a highlight for me, but it could be a highlight for a lot of medium to deeper skin tones. This is the new one called Gia, and I was a little bit reticent just because it does seem to be kind of a warm gold. It does kind of like stick out in contrast to that really icy white so I don't know <laughs> I might I might have to like remedy that I'm not I'm not sure that that totally goes no I think that the answer here is to just keep building with the original shade that we went with Muna now that I have oh a little bit more dimension in there I'm just going to build that and leave it. I'm not gonna blend it. And then I'm going to take some powder shadow and I'm gonna kind of use that to isolate the crease a little bit more because it's a little blobby at the moment. I'm just taking this cool tone shade right here. I'm gonna work that. I can hear a lot of people in comments right now being like, it was touch and go there for a second. <laughs> we weren't sure you were gonna pull it out, but have faith because these also work actually pretty nicely as like a primer because they do have a resistance to creasing. And so you can use them to, you know, uh, just be a base and then um, build the shadow on top. I'm putting product on my eyes, which means that I have lost my ability to speak in full sentences. My camera cut off. I don't know when it cut off. I was just cleaning up with a little bit of the palest shade in this palette and never judge yourself on the messiness of a smoky eye before you get mascara and stuff on because it's basically the equivalent of focusing your camera where like you go from just being able to see sort of blurry images to like really good strong outlines of things that really brings it together every single time. I could just play with Estrella all day. It is so effective. It's so satisfying. Put that a little bit of everywhere, you know. Give me that snow bunny vibe. Okay, I'm going to eyeliner and mascara, and then we will move on to lips. We'll play with some of the uh, triple threat color sticks on my lips. see me put on a little bit more of the kind of matte shadow, the powder shadow in my crease, just because I feel like once you get more of your eye makeup on, you can start to see where you want to go a little bit more. It's like, I kind of have to play like seesaw with it. And I just, as soon as I got my eyeliner on, I was like, okay, we can go a little bit deeper in the crease. So that's all that I did and a little bit of mascara and it's <laughs> definitely on my face and I have to wait for it to dry <laughs> before I can scrape it off. But let's go ahead and talk about lips. All right, so I think that I would be remiss if I did not try at least to put this berry shade on my lips. I'm going to start actually with my lip liner. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> so this is, if you are new to my channel, I am the khaki of the khaki lip liner. <laughs> Welcome. They developed this shade specifically for me because I think that it is the perfect neutral to cool toned mocha color that lends itself beautifully to just about every lip look ever. Let's start by getting whatever this scum is off of my mouth. Nasty. Pretend that that giant zit isn't there. Let's all pretend together. In my pretend world, we can wear sweaters any time of the year and there are no zits, period. This is definitely going to be a look. Ooh, okay, this one's also really smooth. It's so nice. I think I'm gonna put more on my cheeks also. <gasps> We're off to a good start. Pretty nice, I think that works really well. I kind of want to see what would happen if we use just a touch of that? What would happen? This is the Isabella shade, and it adds just a tiny bit, almost an imperceptible bit, of dimension and depth to that, 
without really feeling like I'm building any product on there. It's super, super matte feeling. I really don't feel like my cheeks did eat this product the way that they do with kind of a more emollient blush. Uh, but that's not gonna stop me from putting on just a little bit more because now that we've got everything on, I feel like we can kind of, you know, see where we wanna go. So I'm okay with putting a little, like, I mean, a whisper. Just because this is ending up being kind of like such a, a pretty, like cool toned fall mood, it just needs a little bit more flush in the cheeks. Or maybe it doesn't, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do what your soul wants you to do. Whatever is your blush truth. My blush truth is too much blush. I do feel like we lost a little bit of the highlight when I did that. I'm gonna see what happens if I just freaking put that on because it has no glitter to it, which I love. I love that because the old ones did have uh, glitter in them. And this is just a much more like up to date highlight. <laughs> and much more mature looking highlight, I feel like. Beautimous. Alrighty, let's go with the gloss here. I'm going to go in with the original Glinda lip topper here. I forget what these are called, but it's, it's a lip gloss. And it's got just kind of a, it's clear with copper shimmer in it. I really like Thrive's whole concept because <laughs> They end up giving me colors that I would not normally think that I could play with and their formulas make it so that I can. Does that make sense? You know, I tend to kind of stay in my comfort zone, but like Thrive products make me more confident to experiment. Cause that's not shying away. You know what I mean? That look is not a shrinking violet, non-committal, am I wearing makeup kind of look. That is definitely a, it's a look, but it feels fantastic. It feels really, really pretty. I'm gonna move y'all out. Okay guys, so this is the full look. This is the vibe. I love this whole release. <laughs> I don't mind saying it, but it's mainly because I feel like I saw it coming and I had really high hopes for it and it actually satisfied those hopes. So from the standpoint of the Triple Threat color sticks, I had been hoping since the first time that I ever used these for them to kind of meet in the middle eventually with some of the other cheek formulas that I have, you know, grown to love, like a Danessa Myricks or something like that. And these are definitely creamier than the originals. They're so much smoother and they don't have any kind of granularity or glitter to them or anything. So I love that. These are going to actually make their way into my everyday. Isabella really solves for that coral shade that I was yearning for. This berry shade, if you can't tell, is my absolute freaking favorite. Like this is going to be my new fall go-to. It is so, so good. And then this highlight is actually fantastic. The, uh, the Miko uh, version of the Triple Threat Color Stick. So this is just kind of a home run as far as I'm concerned. I think there's a little bit of something for everybody and I feel like it gave me just a really, really satisfying, fun face of makeup. And as far as the new Brilliant Eye Brightener shades, again, I kind of saw this coming, not like, oh, I'm clairvoyant or something, but with their last release, their last shade expansion of these, I was like, I'm seeing you guys start to go in a direction of getting not just a brilliant eye brightener effect, but also we're gonna get some really, really high performing eyeshadow sticks. And these are actually some of the best performing eyeshadow sticks I've ever used because like I said, they, they do blend, they do build, but they also don't crease because they are so dimethicone based and I found that to be super, super satisfying about them. I'm really hoping as I'm editing, I don't like <laughs> see some big mistake in my eye look here. But as far as the shades are concerned, I will say, um, it's not that I don't like this gold one, it's that it just doesn't go with this look today just because I was going for like a cool tone vibe and this Gia gold is decidedly warm. These two made just absolute you know, front and center appearances in this look today because they are both so beautifully like neutral slash cool. So I would say that Muna is a really, really beautiful neutral taupey shade. And I just really love, I really love it. I love it as much as I expected to love it, which was a lot. I had really high hopes for this. And then Estrella, I didn't know how it was gonna go because it is so icy. It's so cool toned, it's so white. And I was like, mm, that could go either really, really beautiful and like pearly, or it could be like silver and too much. And it's not silver or too much. It is honestly like <laughs> something that I have been seeking for a while, because like I said, 
inner corner highlights just kind of disappear on me because I'm kind of one big inner corner highlight, you know, at the end of the day. So yeah, big, big fan of these two especially, but this formula is awesome. But uh, yeah, guys, if you found this fun slash helpful, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, like if it's your first time watching one of my videos or something and you did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe while you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.